Hey there and uh, welcome back to the literature club. Anyway, we'll do the nuts get out this time. Party. Time card. Oh fuck. You guys saw her face today. Right? You know when she jumped she had like this demon face. It's getting spooky. Another day passes and it's time for a club meeting already. I've got a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. I've only been here for like a day and a half, I guess. Into the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome. But, 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 uh, ah, 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 someone help me! My, my one boobs on the other side. Ah, I'm glitched. For, ah, 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 me. Welcome back, Tony. <laughs> Hi, Yuri. There's something different about you. I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's Yuri's expression. <laughs> What expression? <laughs> She's just a boob. <laughs> She's just one-sided Yuri. <laughs> but the way of yesterday's quarrel still hangs on the air. Oh, they oh, you good now? <laughs> Yuri glanced over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at the desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arms and pulls me into the, the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And sometimes... And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't actually... Act, I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry about too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, I didn't, I didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. And now you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. <laughs> Tony, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make a little too happy. Yeah, I wonder what she means by that. I'm really glad you're such an under understanding person. And I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and uh... Sorry, what am I saying now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? <laughs> no, I haven't. I was... Also kind of wondering where she was. Man... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Uh-huh. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how comedy Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like it at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but wondering a little bit. I'm sure Monica's fine. Uh, what? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just want to, to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on, so... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did something... Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happened. Well, I guess my... Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary viewers, I guess when it was like when she said, Natsuki will forget this completely. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... I accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear you to hear since I'm always afraid I was always afraid of you secretly hating me or something. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I was hoping you guys wouldn't worry or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Um, well, last video was at study hall. And to be honest, I kind of lost track of time. <laughs> uh, that makes no sense though. Wouldn't you have heard the bell at least? Now I'm practicing piano. Oh, cool. They, you do piano? Can you, can you do like a, like a little piano recital for us? 
Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, th thanks, Yuri. Uh, wh whatever. She looks at me. Well, I'll, I'll make a song just for you. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping I would share with you anyway. I see. I'm not sure Monica was fine to the offer, but just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, did I miss anything? Did I? No, not really, Tony. Um. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering, would you like to spend some time together today? I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you, the, after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she she's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't, don't think, think about, about her so much. She's, she's used, used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. So what's this story about anyway? Um, well, basically it's about this religious camp that turned into a human experimental prison. And the people were trapped there, were trapped. Oh, this is like a different uh, description of. Basically it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that last for blood. But the facility gets even worse as they start to ex selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating them to- Ooh, that might- that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. Uh, the book I mean. Uh, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That is definitely dark. Yeah, it made it like a nice story and that dark turn came out of nowhere, like this game. Plot twist. Are uh, you not a fan of that sort of thing? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy some that kind of reads though. So I hope so. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot that you listen to those things. It's that kind of challenge that challenge is to look you from life as strange and pacific to when all things happen just because someone wants to be evil, but because, because the, the world, world is so full of horrible people and we're all worthless, worthless anyway. <laughs> then suddenly, I'm rambling out and die. But again, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But if I let you let me know this problem, I let the, my whole body gets incredibly. Hold on! They don't show us that. Oh. I kind of forget that you forget to pay attention to other people. I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking. That's. I don't think I need to worry about that. It's kind of the same stuff, but with sprinkled. With sprinkling of dark twist. It's a Leticia club of the all. Ah, uh, that's. Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, didn't you? Yuri, you're okay. Do you need like a Snickers or something? You know you're not you when you're hungry. And we've seen Natsuki. She, she's always hungry. Do you want to actually give Natsuki the Snickers, not you? You, you but, but I'll get you one. This might be a little but the man can't announce you a few little bit. Uh -huh. Oh, she doesn't make that face before. Uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. D definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things. She says it and all that. Huh? That's what you were talking about? Sorry. I thought you meant something else about the... Something else. We didn't even get to that for that for you. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Huh? it has been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest and f as if to feel a heartbeat. I, d I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water, alright? Don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and particularly rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about, Tony? Did something just happen now? Huh? I have no idea. He was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. Just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. He really just does the sometimes, so it's not nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, what do you, we start sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a little while, so I figured we start sharing without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, make a mental note, and slip it back into my bag. Hey, Natsuki! I wrote this for you too! Hmm? Well, it's not terrible. 
but it's pretty di disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to do find you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending time with Yuri today. Not that I care or who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. It's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should have at least took look over my poem. You'll probably learn a thing. I've learned something from it. T three B L B I B Z B three V Y I L F R O A X T J K X J K I E V five Z five Z Q equal equal. S B J Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna read all of that. But what would happen if I like type this into like Google? Tony, why didn't you come to read? Why didn't you come to read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. You just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Tony, do you? Do you hate me? Do, do you want me to go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Oh, Yuri. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's what I have. Play with me. Play with me! Oh, fuck. I think we need to get Yuri and Natsuki to like a, a mental institute or something because now I'm I'm getting scared. <laughs> Hi again Tony. How's the writing going? Alright I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You'll never know. Want to share your poem you wrote for me today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright, great job. I was going ooh and ah in my head while reading it. Silly metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put some effort out. Ah, that's not fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. It's just kind of the same stuff. I know that Yuri... Like, but I wrote this for Natsuki, not Yuri. Did I miss up on, on something? Okay, she says something different this time. I don't mean it's like a bad thing, but sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that's is that it's probably much more interesting place for her. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. Oh Monica, you kind of trash talking Yuri and Natsuki so much more than last time. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being so indulged like that. She must be really starved from social interaction. So don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm also starved from social interaction. But I prefer that way. I am an introvert, I am a proud introvert. And I like being alone. Way too much. Like earlier, like, I think she gets too simulated. She ends up with drawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? No, not really. Well, we started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? Sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get to my poem. But anyway, here's like... I like the way this turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me the colors. The colors they won't. But I... Beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red gleam and glue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, whatever that is, squeaking, screeching, and piercing. Sign goes on a tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Endless poem of meaningless.
Delhi the Delhi to Natsuki or Yuri? And how will I delete them? Monica, you feeling good too? I know these, I know like Natsuki and Yuri are glitching out, but are you good? So I know it's kind of abstract, I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Oh, yes, Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing this, this is the fourth wall break, where up and save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Please help me. Oh, okay. Monica, what do you, what do you need help with? Uh, that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. And, uh, hey, Yuri. You wanna check my poem out? Apparently, I made it for you, but I was actually for Natsuki. But I made it for you. Oh, wow. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Um... Very smart and next deep breath. I, I like just holding it. Huh? <laughs> I mean, the poem turned out good. That's, uh, well, there's some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It, I, it feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's a poem I wrote. Uh, you don't have to like it or anything. Real. A floating wheel turning on an axle, grinding bottled. They're not playing music. It seems like she's just writing uh, stuff. Wheel, a, not, a rotating wheel turning on an axle, grinding, battering, landing green ball. I'm, I'm not deleting all of this, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter what it's about. Uh, my mind is a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. <laughs> That is, uh, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. Uh, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, what, what did I just... Uh, can we put it in this conversation if I happened? I can keep the poem, though. Sick. You've unlocked a special poem, would you like to read it? Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how... Blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though, so I don't think I'll... be doing it again unless I decide to... I left a memento of the occasion below. Remember when Natsuki said earlier Yuri likes to cut herself and I think she was kind of right about that. Was I meant to see this or was I not supposed to and I just found it somehow. This poor, this game, like I said before, it gets dark, it's getting darker now. Hi Mon, what the? I don't know if this is showing, but, uh, my mouse turned into a Say, oh my god, my mouse is Sayuri's face, what the fuck, a piece of Sayuri's face, which is, what? Whoa, you know what, I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't gonna record today, but I'm gonna record today. <laughs> I think I left the episode off a little too quick. We have something we need to get over, go over today. So if we could all come sit in front of the room. Is it about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put anything together. I mean, we, it's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do things well with... I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Tony joined and we've started to come up... We started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to be complacent. We still only have four members. 
and the festival is a real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about finding getting new members anyway? You already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just be will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire and find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? Clinton Teacher Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can, can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. That's why we should work hard to put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Tony? Uh... Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Tony to agree with you just because he doesn't know to say no or anything. Look, Monica. Do you think any of us here joined the club with her? Hang on, I can't read today. I can't read any day. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck with her. I know you guys saw that, right? Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You already never even talked until Thorny joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Thorny isn't even a passion about the literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're the only one who is interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken back by Natsuki's words. Th that's not true. I'm sure Yuri and Tony want to get more members too. Right? Ah, uh, we're not saying anything. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up for me to rescue this situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club? It's nothing more than a, for a place than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here was so what uh, the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we are against getting new members or anything, Thorny. Why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? I will be honest, I just wanted to make friends. It's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at the desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now nah, you've done it, Natsuki. Yeah, Natsuki. Congrats. You fucked it. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word of choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You you don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place to feel nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being there for me? There aren't... There aren't many places, other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take that away from me. She She's not taking anything away. No, no, Thorny. It's not the same. I won't be the same with the direction she wants to take. If if I wanted that, I would have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, it, it's at least a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh. Who, Who cares, cares about, about that obnoxious brand? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy you're here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities. And no, oh fuck, I'm getting scared. I'm cold and I'm scared. Nobody who cries killed herself. You know, I don't, I don't know if that's you, Yuri, or if that's evil, Yuri, but evil Yuri needs to chill. You're standing like a K pop stand. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Tony? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided to give an indirect answer. 
it's better than nothing. I think most important is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Liturgy Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member... Are you, cry are you crying blood? Ugh. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone for in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things are a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica? I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? M me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for the day. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. Look forward to it. Shall we go, Tony? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat to a little bit with Tony before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of this time, of his time here and all that. It's important for me, to me as the president. Uh, Yuri looks a little troubled, but he doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment. In, ca in that case, I'll see, you tom the you I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves and Yuri exits the classroom. <sighs> Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Tony, I just wanted to make sure that you're enjoying your time at this club. We really hated to see you unhappy. And the background's getting dark. I feel like I'm responsible for that as president. And I care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Nasuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like it's just you and I are the only real people here. You know, you know, you know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten spend to spend any time. Well, I mean, you're right. We haven't spent any time and yet, you know, I want to get to know you a little bit. You know, I don't really know much. I don't know what you like. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. I mean, technically, yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, no, yet, not yet, no, no. This is the same thing that happened last time. Oh my god. This game likes cutting people off, man. Okay. To be honest, now I actually don't know who I want to pick. But I guess we'll find out next episode in the episode.